Mastering English Phrases Unpacking, Go for a Corner Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring an intriguing phrase, go for a corner. Whether you're a beginner or advancing in English, understanding such phrases can truly elevate your fluency. So, let's break it down together. At first glance, go for a corner might seem like a straightforward directive. However, in English, phrases often carry meanings beyond their literal interpretation. This phrase isn't about physically moving to a corner but is rich with context and usage in different scenarios. Go for a corner doesn't have a one-size-fits-all definition. Its meaning can vary widely depending on the context. Originally, it's rooted in sports, particularly in games like football, soccer, or rugby, where a player might literally aim to get the ball into a corner to gain a strategic advantage. However, metaphorically, it can also mean taking a strategic position in non-sporting contexts aiming for a niche or specific area where competition is less intense or where one can excel. It's about finding your own space to shine or make an impact. Let's see how this phrase can be used in everyday English. 1. In business, our company decided to go for a corner in the market by specializing in eco-friendly packaging. 2. Personal goals. I realized I couldn't compete with everyone in the marathon, so I decided to go for a corner by focusing on improving my personal best time. 3. Academics. Instead of covering all subjects superficially, she decided to go for a corner by specializing in medieval history. When using, go for a corner, Remember it's best suited for situations where someone is choosing to focus on a specific area or niche. It conveys a sense of strategy and intentionality. However, it's less common in formal contexts and more often found in casual conversation or specific fields like sports commentary. Understanding phrases like, go for a corner, can add depth and nuance to your English communication. It's not just about the words but the stories and context they bring with them. We hope this exploration has illuminated a new corner of the English language for you. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to go for a corner in your language learning journey. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.